Hi coaches, Ron Solico here. I wanted to talk about in this video of our ball matchup zone defense are basically how we employ the defense, why we chose to do it that way, and then three goals of defense that we have both in a man-to-man -man and a zone defensive setting. But first of all, our strategy, and this is, again, I've, I've referenced him earlier, Ralph Miller was a, was a big influence in factor in, in my thought process. And what his strategy was, was when his team would miss a shot or would have a live ball turnover, they would get back and play man-to-man -man defense. In fact, get back's not even the right word. They would pressure full court man-to-man -man and then play man-to-man -man defense throughout that possession. Now, when his team scored, sometimes they would drop back into a half-court zone defense, and sometimes they would do a zone press and then drop back into a zone defense. So anytime there was a score or a live or a dead ball turnover, that was a strategy he used. What we did was try and, try and take that a step further, is do the strategy at the beginning of a game. So maybe first quarter, first half, do the strategy, and then we have coaches chart how teams are scoring against us and what defense were we playing. So exec execution is always important, but sometimes there's teams that – are going to be comfortable executing against you in one situation and maybe uncomfortable in the other. And that's what we're trying to determine. So we're trying never to allow teams to get into a rhythm. We want teams to always think about what what defense they might be facing against us. Uh, change up theory of defense is what, what we're talking about here. But it also gives us a, a practical point of seeing how – how teams are doing against it. And then what we can do in the second half, third quarter, end of the game, whatever the case might be, is adjust and play that defense more that the team that the team we're playing is in it, not attacking, attacking effectively against us. So we feel it's very valuable to give us a nice lens of execution throughout the game and make adjustments. We have three basic goals defensively, and these goals are consistent whether we're in man-to-man -man or zone defense. Now, we've got some other concepts that we've talked about or will talk about in future videos, but these are our three basic goals. Is if we can contain the basketball without allowing dribble penetration, without allowing easy passes into the middle, and without fouling, if we can do those things effectively, we are going to be very successful. In a future video, we're going to talk about the importance of ball pressure. I think all coaches recognize if you can have great ball pressure, you can really disrupt anything teams are trying to do offensively, but you've got to be able to contain the basketball. We, we use the phrase, guard the basketball as if you don't have any help. We want you to be aggressive, but we want you to also understand that it is your job to keep the ball in front of you as much as possible by applying good, strong pressure. Now, we want to have great ball pressure, and we want to have great help off the ball but we, we want that concept without help to being great contest every shot we want a hand up on every shot every statistical study that i've ever seen is that teams shoot anywhere from 15 to 20 percent lower if if there's just a hand up so we preach that to our players get a hand up on every single shot and yell shot so your team knows to get in rebounding position and then the rebounding aspect, we need to hold people to one shot. That is of paramount importance. If we can hold people to one shot, especially long jump shots, we look as opportunities to get the ball and run. So if we can get long rebounds, but well, we need to get short rebounds too. So it all ties together. What we found is if teams are able to dribble penetrate or pass penetrate on, on us and get in the middle of the floor, well, what happens? That breaks us down. We're not able to contest shots. Our defense is scrambling. We're not in rebounding position. We don't hold teams to one shot. So it's a whole system of play that ties together. You do, do this, this usually happens, and then this is the result of that. So tying these three things together is of paramount importance in your coaching.